Some of the largest ships in the world come in the form of oil tankers, cargo carriers and cruise liners. The longest ship ever built was an oil tanker known as the Nock Nevis or Seawise Giant with a displacement of 657,000 tons and about 458 meters in length. It was sunk during Iran-Iraq war but was later salvaged and restored to service. In naval history, the USS Enterprise was the longest warship ever built in history where the vessel length was up to 342 meters and had a displacement of 93,500 tons. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and today we will be doing a video on 10 biggest warships in the world today. When we say biggest warships, we think of only aircraft carriers but you will be surprised to see some amphibious assault ships and battle cruisers qualify on the top 10 list as well. We will rank them by their length as usual, so now let's take a look at the 10 winners on the video. The first entry on the list is a Soviet nuclear-powered guided missile Kirov-class battlecruiser that is in service since 1980. Kirov-class was the largest and heaviest service competent warship apart from aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships with a length of 252 meters or 827 feet in length and a full load displacement of 28,000 tons. The speed of Kirov-class is maintained up to 32 knots and cruising range of about 1,000 nautical miles. Among modern warships, they are second in size only to large aircraft carriers and of similar size to a World War II-era battleship. The appearance of the Kirov-class played a key role in the recommissioning of the Iowa-class battleships by the United States Navy in the 1980s. And now at number 9 spot on the list comes the Landing Helicopter Assault or Landing Helicopter Dock Amphibious Assault Ship of the United States Navy. The Landing Helicopter Assault 6 is the lead ship of her class. She is 5 meters long than the previously mentioned Kirov class and the displacement is over 44,000 tons. Her mission is to act as the flagship of an expeditionary strike group or amphibious ready group carrying part of a marine expeditionary unit into battle and putting them ashore with helicopters and V-22 Osprey tilt rotor aircraft supported by F-35B Lightning II and helicopter gunships. With a displacement of 45,000 tons, she is as large as many other countries' aircraft carriers and can fulfill similar missions when configured into 20 F-35B strike fighters. The eighth biggest modern warship and the first aircraft carrier entry on the list is Charles de Gaulle. The ship is the 10th French aircraft carrier, the first French nuclear-powered surface vessel, the largest warship in Western Europe and the only nuclear-powered carrier completed outside of the United States Navy. Her length stretches up to 858 feet and she is named after French statesman and General Charles de Gaulle. It can support the operations of 40 fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters including Rafael M, Super Itendok, A2C Hawkeye, SA-365 Dauphin, EC-725 Caracal and AS-532 Cougar. The vessel with a full load displacement of 42,000 tons carries 1,350 ships company and 600 air wings. Number 7 on the list comes INS Vikramaditya, a modified Kiev class aircraft carrier and the flagship of the Indian Navy which entered service in 2013. The carrier served with the Soviet Navy and later with the Russian Navy before being decommissioned in 1996. It was later purchased by India on 20 January 2004 after years of negotiations at a final price of $2.35 billion. INS Vikramaditya is the biggest warship in the Indian Navy with 930 feet longer after being rebuilt and can displace up to 44,500 tons. The warship can carry more than 30 aircraft including a mix of MiG-29K or Sea Harrier, Kamov-31, Kamov-28, Sea King, ALS Druv and Chetak helicopters. At number 6 spot on the list comes HMS Queen Elizabeth, the lead ship of the Queen Elizabeth class of aircraft carriers and the largest warships ever built for the Royal Navy of the United Kingdom. She is 932 feet in length displacement of up to 65,000 tons and is capable of carrying close to 60 aircraft. In addition to the latest technology and automated systems aboard, the vessel enable operations with a streamlined crew of 679. 
The aircraft carrier is powered by two Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbines and four diesel generator sets providing a total installed power of 109 megawatts electric. Hence, the propulsion system will enable the vessel to sail at a maximum speed of 25 knots. And now let's have a look at the final top 5 rankings. The fifth biggest warship on the list is Liaoning, a Chinese type 001 aircraft carrier. She was the first aircraft carrier commissioned into the People's Liberation Army Navy Surface Force, originally classified as a training ship, intended to allow the Navy to experiment, train, and gain familiarity with the aircraft carrier operations. The length of Liaoning is almost 1,000 feet and can displace a full load of up to 67,500 tons. Originally laid down in 1985 as the Kuznetsov class aircraft, her service ended in 1991, halted for reconstruction, but the ship was put up for sale by Ukraine. The stripped hulk was purchased in 1998 and towed to the Dalian Naval Shipyard in northeast China. The ship was rebuilt and commissioned into China as Liaoning on 25 September 2012. Number 4 comes Admiral Kuznetsov Aircraft Carrier, a class of fixed-wing aircraft carriers operated by the Russian and Chinese navies. She is Russia's only aircraft carrier caught on fire during repair and is currently inactive. The Admiral Kuznetsov is the fourth largest aircraft carrier with 1,001 feet in length and has a full load displacement of 58,500 tons. The Kuznetsov class ships were described by the Soviet builders as heavy aircraft carrying cruiser intended to support and defend strategic missile carrying submarines, surface ships, and maritime missile carrying aircraft of the Soviet fleet. The fixed wing aircraft and Kuznetsov are intended for air superiority operations to protect a deployed task force. The carrier also carries numerous helicopters for anti submarine warfare and search and rescue operations. The third biggest warships in the world today is Shandong, a first-generation Chinese aircraft carrier that was launched on 26 April 2017 for the People's Liberation Army Navy. She is the country's second aircraft carrier after the completion of Liaoning and the first built domestically. Shandong was initially designated as Type 001A air carrier during development but was finalized as Type 002 at commissioning. She has a total length of 1,033 feet and a total displacement of 70,000 tons. The aircraft carrier's design is largely based on China's first carrier Liaoning, which was itself built from the partially complete hull of the Soviet Kuznetsov-class aircraft carrier Varyag. Shandong carries about 50-plus total aircraft including 36 Shenyang, J-25, 8 Shangzi Z-18 and 4 Harbin Z-9. The world's second longest and largest aircraft carrier is the U.S. Navy's 10 Nimitz-class nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. They are certainly one of the best of the breeds and flaunt all the features required by such warships. Named after the World War II U.S. Pacific Fleet Commander, Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, the lead ship of this class, USS Nimitz, was launched in May 1975 and the 10th and last of this class. The 1,093 feet long supercarrier can displace over 100,000 tons in full load mode and is also capable of carrying more than 60 aircraft. Instead of the gas turbines or diesel electric systems used for propulsion on many modern ships, the carriers use two A4W pressurized water reactors which drive four propeller shafts and can produce a maximum speed of over 30 knots. As a result of the use of nuclear power, the ships are capable of operating for over 20 years without refueling and are predicted to have a service life for over 50 years. The first carrier in this class, USS Gerald R. Ford, was commissioned in May 2017 and the four remaining announced vessels of this class are under construction. The Gerald R. Ford, which is expected to be fully operational by 2020, its 78-meter wide flight deck with electromagnetic aircraft launch systems as well as advanced arresting gear. She has a total length of 1,106 feet, full load displacement of 100,000 tons and speed in excess of 30 knots. With over 4,500 personnel on board, the Gerald R. Ford has the ability to carry up to 90 aircraft. 
It includes the Boeing FA-18EF Super Hornet, Boeing EA-18G Growler, Grumman C2 Greyhound, Northrop Grumman E2 Hawkeye, Lockheed Martin F-35C Lightning II, Sikorsky SH-60 Seahawk helicopters, and unmanned combat aerial vehicles. So guys, we're winding up the video, but before you leave, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And thank you so much for viewing in. We'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.